Mr. Steigerwald here. Wear your mask. Okay. We're going to do something called the elimination method. What it means is we're going to try and eliminate a variable. We, we, we want to find an ordered pair. So maybe right here. What ordered pair can I put in here to make this equation true and also put in here the same ordered pair to make this true? Well, one method to do that is called the elimination method. We want to eliminate a variable. See, two and three, I don't know, I got to manipulate top and bottom. We're here, what can I do to the y? So when I add these together, I'm going to eliminate the y's. Well, I could see it a mile away. If I multiply this bad boy by negative two, then I like putting it off to the side so I follow what I'm doing. If I multiply this by negative two, do you see how negative two y plus two y, it's gonna go disappear? So you have to have the same number in different signs and you'll hit a home run every single time. Well, if I multiply this by negative two, I gotta be equal and fair about it and multiply everything by negative two. So I invented this little method, at least I think I invented it. Put a little arrow. What is negative two times two x, negative four x? Negative 2 times y, negative 2y, and negative 2 times 6, negative 12. Now here, I could just bring the whole thing over. I don't need to monkey around. 3x plus 2y equals 8. Now, can you see it? It's going to eliminate. Goes bye-bye. Negative 4x plus 3x is negative x, and negative 12, you get negative 4. Now, I, don't want, I do not want to know what x is or negative x, I want to know what x is. So you could divide by negative one. I just like multiplying both sides by negative one. That will get rid of that negative sign and we get four. Now, before you get all excited, we're only halfway done. I'm gonna put four in there. Actually, we're more than halfway done. Now I can take four and I could put it in here and solve for y or put it in here and solve for y. I like working the easy way, so I'm gonna put it in this one. Seems a little simpler. Two x plus y equals six. I substitute in for x there, I get eight plus y equals six, subtract eight on both sides, y equals negative two. Now, if I'm taking a test, I wanna check my work. That's why I love math, because you could many times check your work. So let's go in here, three times four plus two times negative two, does that equal eight? Well, what do we got? 12 minus four equals eight, check. Let's check it up here. 2 times 4 plus a negative 2. Does that equal 6? Well, 8 minus 2. Yes, that equals 6. We know we hit the home run. 